Hey YouTube, this is the Built Brothers back again. Uh, today we're going to be working on finishing up the cage for the fuel cell and then we're going to see if we can get it in the car and if we get that far we will install the, sh the patch sheets I made to turn the spare tire wheel into a square so it fits nicely. So let's get right to it. I'm going to start by uh, trimming those pieces down that didn't fit properly last time and then welding those on and then we'll see about fitting it inside the car. I'm going to change the way the camera's set up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I got the, uh, the camera set back up. I rotated the car, as you can see. It is on a rotisserie, that's how I did that. These two pieces, I cut them a while ago, but there are four right here. And right here. And this. We'll go in between those, right there. And that is centered on the car. So the, the spare tire well used to be right here. As you can see, I cut up in a square. I measured from the, to the center of the car from the shock towers and then drew the rectangle for the fuel cell based on that. So I, I missed over here when I was sandblasting, which I didn't realize until right now. So I'm gonna have to grind the undercoating off of right there and right there. Weld these two in, measure and weld them in. And then uh, after I get that, I can weld this in. And then I made a couple of patch panels. They go in places like that. I'm not too concerned about how perfect they look because I'm going to have sound deadening material all over the hatch floor anyway because I don't want to have a lot of road noise inside the car. But yeah, let's get straight to this. Let's, let's weld these bars in and get the fuel cell box mounted in there. So as you probably saw, I got something in my eye, even with this on, it bounced off me and hit me in the eye. So still gotta be careful even with stuff on. Not too bad, it was just dust, but still not fun. But let's get back to this.
should be a relatively tight fit. Boom. Something like that. Now all I have to do is uh, weld it in. Before I go any further, I'm going to test fit the uh, fuel cell to make sure it didn't warp enough for it to not fit, but I don't think it will. But just better be safe. A little lazy body. Sticks up maybe an inch and a half. And then I'm gonna have to make panels for here, but I already made this one, this one, and this one. Those are the ones I showed earlier. So, I mean, I'll put rubber underneath here so this isn't touching the steel. And I'm gonna fully melt the, it to the car, obviously. But yeah, that's how it is. If you're wondering why I stuck these in the back, two reasons. Under hard acceleration, I don't want it to be starved of fuel. If they were up here, all the fuel would slosh to the back and you could get bubbles in the gas and you don't want to deal with that probably. And also, when I'm low on fuel, like the logic behind it would be, if you're trying to get to a gas station, you can coast down hills, but you need gas getting up hills. Uphill, this will be filled until the last second, so. That's why it's in the back. I imagine almost every production car is probably like that, or they have a lot of uh, drop down to avoid it altogether. But yes, I, the reason I'm not worrying about this too much is I'm gonna cut it and the diffuser is gonna be mounted here. It's gonna be a custom diffuser, so should be fun. I, I wanna do it like an actual, I want it to be an actual, uh, like an aerodynamic diffuser. So it actually helps with downforce to some extent. There, there, there are some out there for multiple cars that just are for pure looks only and I don't understand that. I mean, I guess it does look kind of cool, but if you know what it is, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, so this will mostly get cut out. The diffuser will be here. And then I might end up filling this and finishing out the wheel well so there's no wind getting trapped in here. Like if there was a, a plate here, it doesn't get trapped, so I might fill it out that way. Rear diff, axles. Yeah. In one of the next videos, you'll see something cool, so. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish welding this into the car, see if I can get those patch panels installed, and then we'll see where we're at.
reposition the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. Finish this up. I'm gonna rotate the car so that I'm actually working on the floor instead of the wall. <laughs> It'll make it a little bit easier, I think. I will be right back when I have that done. Didn't turn out well run. Hopefully I can reach it. I can't. Awesome. <sighs> Need a remote button for the welder. Surprisingly difficult. basically done anyway. We're just gonna go through and finish this, but let's see if I'm actually out of water or if I'm just crazy. I am actually out of water. All right, so I got the fuel cell cage welded in. I welded in the, uh, the patch panels I made to make the floor look normal again and because I'm not going to have a spare tire back there. So I'm going to take you guys over there so you can see what it looks like. So that is the rectangle that the fuel cell will fit in. It's those, the bars run across right there and one's right here. I have that side fully welded. I have the outside of that one fully welded. I'm going to add, actually add a bar right there that goes across to there. It'll give more to, to right there. It'll give more structure to the floor and it'll avoid me having to make another one of those patch panels. I'm going to do the same thing over here too. So it'll go from right there to right there but yeah so put you back on the tripod and i'll tow, throw the fuel cell in there so you can see what it looks like Up the 
I'm going to make the a pack right here, a pack right here, and then I'll probably end up putting weather strip in here just to seal this, like seal the floor around this. I'll probably do that all the way around it, along with the rubber to hold this in here softly. But yeah, these are the, the fuel return and the vent. If I can find something, I'll probably get a filler neck at some point to actually connect to the stock location. It might be somewhat difficult though, just because it's a very sharp angle that I'll have to get. Might, might be able to make something too. But I think that's all the time we have for this video, or all the supplies we have for this video.